Hey everybody, um, I wanted to show you the finished result of the resonator that I've, been, that I've been building. A lot of people have been following this build on Facebook and I've also been building a ma mandolin guitar. So I figured I'd show you the progress on that first since most people haven't seen it on the video. This is the mando guitar that I'm making. It's a double neck. Today I installed the tuners and um, now all I have to do is cut the uh, holes in the pit guard which is actually made out of metal and copper um, I have to cut the holes in the pit guard and install the uh, humbuckers it's going to have uh, dual rail mini humbuckers and then wire it up and this thing will be finished too so probably another week or so if I have enough time to work on it and can find the right bits to cut the uh, holes. But this one, the resonator guitar, is finished and fully functional. I do have one little spot that I have to fix on this um, uh, knob, or whoops, you can't see it, on one of these knobs, the, try to back up enough. I can't really get a good shot with this camera set up, but maybe like that. Um, Anyhow, one of my knobs has got a little bit of a short in it, but other than that, I wanted to let you hear it. That's this front pickup. That's the one that it's got a short. So, see, you can hear it. Then this next pickup, the uh, right here, this one is the spider bridge. It's, I've actually put piezos underneath the uh, bridge. And then finally, I, I put a piezo because I saw some people like to put them right on the cone itself. So this is the last one right here, and it's really loud but in comparison to the other two. But I put the volume knobs in front of the actual on-off switch, so I think what that allows me to do is blend how much of each I want. So if I want to... different effect. That's a little squealy. I don't like that setting that much. Kind of like that one where you got the neck pickup and the spider bridge. I don't like the piezo directly on the cone that much. I mean it kind of sounds okay but maybe I just didn't put it in the right spot. And I'm missing a couple strings because they broke while I was tuning it up, so you just have to bear with me with just the four strings that I have. guitar build I hope you enjoy it and all these parts weren't that expensive I think I paid I bought all the parts basically from eBay and I got the um, the top I think for 25 bucks the spider for 10 and I think I paid about 10 for the cone and I think I paid six for the tailpiece and then I made up my own jack and I already had the other parts around for the rest of it but that's pretty much it i put locking tuners on it although the tuners that i bought were junk don't buy those necessarily from ebay because they had some serious issues and only really two of them actually work i mean they'll tune but they won't the lock won't stay in so <laughs> Much 
it for uh, this build. Um, I am going to cover, this is where the um, the old, um, oh, whatever, the electronics from when this, the, this was just a Kona K2 guitar, that's where these were. And I took that out and I'm actually gonna cover this up with a grate. Um, so that way this is kinda, instead of having like holes cut in the front, I'm gonna have this little hole right here and then I'm gonna have a grate right there. So if I wanna put a microphone there or something, it'll be a good place to put it. But that's the last, the last little bit of this build. And when I get that finished, it'll be pretty much done. I may actually replace the tuners at some point because I really was not happy with these at all. When they came in, they just were crap and and one of them it looked like it had been crushed in the press and um i you think they would have a little bit better quality control but but what do you expect from china and that's how it sounds without any any uh power so I'm pretty happy with it. The one thing, the reason I really wanted to build this was I started to get a dead sound on my, uh, I think it was the A string or the or the G, uh, no, the uh, D string. One of these strings was like totally dead. And I looked and looked and looked online trying to figure out what the problem was. And I looked up in the guitar, you know, I have these big cutouts so it was kind of easy to look in there but I could not find the answer. And when I finally cut the hole out and took the bridge out, one of the main supports underneath that I just couldn't quite see had a crack all the way down it. And that's, I think, where that dead buzzing sound came from. And I play a lot out on the streets in the summertime, so it's like I didn't want to have a really dead, crappy sounding guitar, but I also didn't want to take a really good guitar out there and ruin it again. So I thought, well, if I build a resonator, the resonator doesn't have the same kind of structure inside and it's really easy to work on once you have it apart. So I thought, let's go with the resonator and this will be my outdoor busking guitar. So I hope you have a great day. God bless you. Um, if you're new to my stuff, I'm the author of the Mandolin Dead Man's Tuning Books. You can check them out at my website, uh, willyminix.com. And um, yeah, check me out on Facebook and like my stuff and we'll talk to you later. God bless you.